In this video, I'm going to make a solid object that has one cross-sectional um, profile at one end and another at the other end. It's going to be a table leg that has a circular profile um, at the floor, and then as it rises to the top, it will have a square profile. Um, right now, I'm in the top view, and what I'm going to do is make the profile of the leg at the bottom. All right, so I will start by making a circle that has a three-quarter unit radius and it will be located at the floor and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a square that has a two by two profile and I'll put that at the top. Um, now what I'll do is I'll go to the front view And I'm going, to, I'm going to make a line from my 0, 0, 0 coordinate point. Turn on ortho. I'll make this line 28 inches. My table leg is going to be at that height. And we'll get this so it's centered in here. So down here I have a square and I have a circle. What I want to do is move this square up to the top here, um, but I want to give myself a reference line to snap to. So I've got my square with a line passing uh, across it in the diagonal, and I'm going to move it from the midpoint of that diagonal line to the top of my 28 inch vertical line. So my table leg is going to go from this circular profile up to the square profile. And I'm going to use a command called loft in order to do this. Type in loft and select the two profiles. And you could have any number of pro profiles actually between there. And that's all there is to it. Um, if I change to a conceptual view, I'll be able to see what it looks like. And if I use the 3D Orbit tool, I can sort of spin around this. If I go back to my top view, I should see the, the square profile, like so. Okay. 